Hello, everyone. Today we are reading The Soil. The author is Prabhat Sapkota. The illustrator is Yuvak Shrestha. The translator is Shannon David. And the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read The Soil. Look at the soil, my friend. The grass is so green here. So what is soil? Soil is mud where plants grow. Um, and what is an example of something that grows in the soil? It is green grass. And this is where these children are playing in the green grass. Let's see what else grows in the soil. This is where flowers bloom. They smell so sweet. So flowers also grow on plants. And where are these plants? They grow on the soil. And when they bloom, when they open up, you can smell them and they smell so sweet. This is where rice and wheat grow. Rice and wheat plants also grow in the soil. You can see that these are wheat plants, they are growing in the soil. This is where the potatoes and sweet potatoes grow. Can you see what these children are doing here? They are taking out potatoes and sweet potatoes. And where are they? The potatoes and sweet potatoes are buried in the ground, that's where they grow, under the surface of the ground. They are in the soil, that's where they grow and they can be taken out and eaten. The soil is where the mud dauber builds its nest. A mud dauber is a type of wasp that makes nests out of mud. So you would have seen insects around you like ants and bees. A wasp is a type of insect like a bee that can fly and that can sting you. And a mud dauber is a special type of wasp that builds its home, that makes nests out of mud. And so you can see here, this, these are the mud daubers that have made this nest out of soil. The swallow makes her nest out of soil too. She carries it in her beak. A swallow is a special type of bird and it has a tail like this that has this U shape. And the swallow builds her nest out of soil. It looks like this. And she's carrying the mud to the nest which she is building. This is where the crocodile lays her eggs. So this animal here with the long snout and the long tail is a crocodile and the crocodile lays eggs. And where does she lay her eggs? She lays her eggs in the soil. And where the 
chameleon gives birth to her young what is a chameleon it is a special type of lizard which changes color based on where it is so if it is sitting on top of the mud it will become brown in color and if it is sitting on a tree it changes its color to match the background it becomes green and the chameleon gives birth to baby chameleons in the soil look my friend this is where the horses and the elephants live so where do horses and elephants live they live on land they live on soil this is where the day breaks look what's happening here can you see the sun what is the sun doing the sun is peeking over the hill in the morning that's when the sun rises when the sun comes up in the morning it comes up from behind the hills and what are the hills made of they're made of mud which is soil and so this is where the day breaks this is where the sun rises this is where we play and dance the soil is our life so you can see these children where are we playing most of the time we are playing on on the land on top of soil and this is where we play and dance and the soil is our life i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are soil the upper layer of land where plants grow bloom to produce flowers wasp an insect like the bee mud dauber a type of wasp that builds nests out of mud chameleon a type of lizard that changes colors to match its background try these questions why do you think soil is important potatoes and sweet potatoes grow under the ground what other plants grow under the ground horses and elephants live on the soil what other animals also live on the soil